Today, we're diving into the highly anticipated Samsung One UI 7.0 update. This update is just around the corner, and from what we've seen in leaks and rumors, it's set to bring some significant changes to Samsung devices. So let's get into everything we know so far about One UI 7.0, from its exciting new features to the expected release date and supported devices. Before we get into it, you can expect to get your hands on One UI 7.0, Let's talk about all the exciting features that are rumored and confirmed to be part of this update. New stock icons. First up, the default icons are getting a complete makeover. These new icons will have more rounded shapes and distinct colors, making them easier to differentiate. You'll notice this with key apps like camera, gallery, settings, and Samsung internet. Bold app icons inspired by iOS 18. For those who love customization, One UI 7.0 will allow you to choose a bold view for your app icons. This makes the icons larger and hides the app names, giving your home screen a cleaner look. Of course, if you prefer the traditional setup, you can easily switch back to the normal view with labels. Updated Quick Settings Panel The Quick Settings Panel is also getting a facelift. Expect rounded hill-shaped blocks for brightness and volume controls. These controls will take up less space, but if you need more detail, they can be expanded with a simple tap. Split Notifications Tray Samsung is introducing a split notifications tray, giving you the option to separate notifications from quick settings. You might need to swipe down from the left side for notifications and from the right for quick settings. Dynamic Island Style Notifications One of the standout features is the addition of dynamic island style notifications. A small pill-shaped notification will appear on the left side of your status bar and can be expanded with a long press, bringing a new level of interaction to your notifications. Pill-shaped battery icon the battery icon is also getting a redesign with a rounded pill shape, and the battery percentage will be displayed inside it. This new design is both sleek and functional. Smoother UI animations. If you're a fan of smooth animations, you're in for a treat. One UI 7.0 will bring faster, more responsive animations with new effects for opening, closing, and navigating between apps. App Lock. Security is a big focus in this update with the introduction of an App Lock feature. You'll be able to lock individual apps with a passcode, password, or pattern, and potentially use biometrics for added convenience. While it's still unclear if Samsung will include the new privacy features from Android 15, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Live activities on lock screen. Another feature inspired by iOS is live activities on the lock screen. This will allow you to track things like ongoing music playback or your viewer ride status directly from your lock screen. Just won't press look when dark mode is activated. Vertical app drawer. Finally, a vertical app drawer might be introduced through a good lock module. This drawer will scroll vertically and include a search bar at the bottom, making it easier to find apps with one hand. These are just some of the features we expect to see with One UI 7.0. It's clear that this update is set to bring some major changes to Samsung's interface, and we can't wait to see how these features enhance our devices. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on One UI 7.0? Is there a particular feature you're most excited about? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go 25 complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, 
similar to previous Samsung Geely smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.